Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lucian Gavriluk. Today we're going to look at a topic which is as much as science as it is an art. As one engineer told me one time, we're going to talk about device protection and coordination. Many electrical engineering books have been written on this subject, but my intent here is not to go into the theory behind this vast topic, but to show you how to navigate your way in ETAP. Here is a sample time current curve. It shows a simple single line of breakers and their characteristic curves. As you may already know, this graph is a log-log scale. The first step you will need to do is to make sure that you've modeled the appropriate breakers and have figured out their, their coordination settings. Let's get started on ETAP. I've already opened ETAP and selected the appropriate project. And as always, the first step is to click on the appropriate module and in this case is the button with two curves on it, which is star protection and coordination. We recognize that the buttons at the right side of the canvas have changed. This time we need to make a selection first to set up a time current curve or TCC. So I will pick these three breakers. The button we are interested in is at the top, create star view. Now that I've select made our selection, I will click this button. A new TCC has been created. These components have already been coordinated, but we want to make this look more presentable. So the first step is to show the device settings by right clicking on the device and checking the appropriate buttons. The second step is to add the log log background. Again, I will right click somewhere on the graph and I will select plot options. On the grid tab, I will check display option and click OK. Adjust the single line to be more readable. Step 4, adjust the title block of the TCC. And this time I will do double click somewhere within the title block. The plot option came up with the legend tab selected. Here I can rename the TCC and I can add a logo, other text and project related information. Click OK. At this point the TCC has been set up and we can do one more thing is to select the breakers and click this button here which is the create device settings report. I will select all devices. You, depending on the report you may want to select other options but in this case I will select all devices and click OK. A report has been generated of the settings for each device selected. In this video I've shown you how to generate a time current curve and how to get a settings report. If you found this video helpful, write me in the comments section and give it a thumbs up. Also, you may go to my website ipa-epc.com to download any sample single lines and printouts that I may have used in this video. Again, thanks for watching.